Hey guys and welcome back. We are here with another Factorio tutorial and today we're going to be covering smelting ratios or more specifically um, the number of smelters you need per level of belt and per level of smelter to fully uh, compress a belt for your uh, smelting output. On my last ratio video, which if you haven't seen it you can go check it out, it'll be linked down in the description, but uh, I went over several different ratios and uh, one of the most highly requested videos to do next was a smelting one, so that's what we're doing here. Um, we're going to get right into it. We're going to start with the lowest level of each thing. We're going to start with yellow belt and stone furnaces. All right, so I'm just going to throw the ratio out for you uh, initially here and then kind of like the last video I'm going to actually explain the reasoning behind it and why it is the way it is. Um, so your ratio here is going to be 24 stone furnaces per side or 48 total. Okay, the actual math works out to be 47 total, um, but that means we would end up with uh, kind of an odd man out here. We would uh, end up with 24 on one side and 23 on the other, and that would just, uh, I mean, really that'd be unacceptable if you're as OCD as I am. So we're going to go with 48. I'd rather have like one or two uh, too many than not enough or to have it look totally weird. So 48 total, 24 per side. Okay, how we arrive at this is we take the belt speed and we multiply it by the smelting or crafting speed of the item. Alright, so these ratios I'm going to go over are all for either iron, copper, or stone because they all have the same smelting speed. On near the end here I will go over steel, uh, but it is quite different. So for either of those three, um, the smelting speed is three and a half seconds. Uh, base speed, it is, it, uh, it is speed of one, a uh, crafting speed of one. Um, stone furnaces have a crafting speed of 1, so that doesn't really modify it any. It's just 3.5. So we take 3.5 and we multiply it by the belt speed. All right. Um, the speed of yellow belt here is 6.667 items a second per lane. We can see belts have two lanes, obviously. Or double that for the whole belt, which is 13.333 items a second total that it can move fully compressed. So we take the 13.3 um, and we multiply it by 3.5, which actually comes out to like 46.6 something. Um, so you would round to 47, but I just explained why I didn't like 47. Um, so I just round to 48. It certainly does not hurt anything. Um, it doesn't even make it longer because, again, you would already have your 24 on one side. Um, if you went with the 47, you would just have 23 on the other. So I just add an extra one, um, which does once in a while work. But 48 total stone furnaces to yellow belt, or 24 per side, is the correct ratio if you want a fully compressed yellow belt out. Now, you will notice this is not fully compressed. You see these little gaps in here where these aren't fully pushed together? Um, this is not a ratio issue. This is a inserter onto belt ratio, if you will. Uh, the deal is inserters cannot actually fully compress a belt ever. Inserters cannot fully compress a belt inserting onto normal um, normal belt of any level. Um, if it's just like just belt, um, it won't fully compress it. It, it. That's just how inserters work, okay? Now you could send your input resources down the middle and export to the sides and then like stick it through a splitter, combine it. Um, that's not as elegant. Um, it's just, it, it looks kind of funny sometimes too. Um, I think a better way to do it is to actually use a little trick we have over here. Um, now this is red belt, I'll explain the ratio in a minute, but what we're doing here is we're actually inserting directly onto underground belts. And due to, uh, I guess how the game works, a bit of a trick really, um, it's not cheating because uh, it is in the game, but uh, what this does is this does allow for full compression. Um, if we come all the way down to the end here, you can see that this red belt is 100% compressed all the time. Uh, this is spawn belt mod I'm using just to eat up the resources, ignore it. it, it doesn't affect the ratio or anything. Um, but you can see coming out, this is just, it's always compressed, fully compressed, never any gaps, it's perfect. Okay, and why this is really quick, just kind of the, the science behind this, is the inserters essentially, I'm trying to think the best way to explain it, they, they essentially kind of ignore the item that is in the spot they're going to put their item or essentially they, they like push aside the item that is in the way when they go onto an underground belt so they're able to squeeze in that extra item where there are uh where there would normally be gaps on this setup um so where these gaps are 
Um, when doing undergrounds, these guys essentially can shove their item into these gaps to achieve full compression. Okay? Um, and it, it, I mean, it looks pretty decent. I think it's better than the splitter merging thing. I mean, you can do this with all levels of belt. I just uh, did not do it here to show what happens if you don't. Um, but if you do want your full compression, um, it is advised to insert onto undergrounds here. Um, and that's how you get it. So there's that. For red belt and stone furnaces, our ratio is going to be exactly double this, okay? Red belt speed and throughput is exactly double that of yellow belt. Okay, so our ratio is going to be 24 per side, um, or 48 rather, sorry, 48 per side, um, or 96 total. If we take a blueprint, um, this is an easy way to tell, 48 per side, 96 total. Um, again, this is rounding up. The actual math works out to be 94 total, um, which actually would, you, you could do evenly per side because that would be 47 per side. Um, the only reason I did 48 is just because of my OCD because if we did 47, um, we'd have, we wouldn't have a double furnace down here at the end and it wouldn't be symmetrical like with the, with the front and stuff. So just because of that, I added two more. They do once in a while pick up a resource. Um, as I said, I'd rather have a little too many than to just have it like not look right to me. So we're going to go with 48 per side or 96 total. You could do the 94 total or 48 per side if you want. Um, and uh, red belt speed, just to throw it in there, red belt speed is, again, exactly double. So it's going to be 13.3 items a second per lane or 26.667 items a second total that it can move, okay? So then, we, again, we just take that, multiply it by 3.5, and that's how we get our ratio, okay? Now, blue belt and stone furnaces, I did not set up because it would be quite long. Um, I will give you the ratio, though. Um, same process of achieving it. The speed of blue belt is uh, nice round numbers, 20 items a second per so or per lane or side, um, 40 items a second for the whole belt that it can move. Um, so for stone furnaces, this works out to be 140 stone furnaces total, or 70 per side, which is extremely long. This was 48 per side, right? So add, what is that, 22 more onto each side? I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna be coming out to like here. Uh, so that's why I didn't build it, um, but there's your ratio one more time, 140 total or 70 per side for stone furnaces to a blue belt. Um, but honestly, if you're using blue belt, I can't really imagine why you would be using stone furnaces anymore. Uh, but just in case you are, there's your ratio. Um, we'll move on to steel and electric furnaces. Now, a quick note, these will actually be, uh, ex the ratios for these will be exactly the same because steel furnaces and electric furnaces smelt at the exact same speed, a speed of two. Um, which some people may not actually know, for the longest time I thought these were faster. I mean, if you're newer to the game or whatever, uh, you may as well. Um, but they do in fact smelt at the same speed as steel furnaces. Uh, now, luckily, both these actually smelt at double the speed of these, right? Crafting speed of one, crafting speed of two. So this makes it very easy. We can literally just cut in half these ratios, okay? So this one was 24 per side or 48 total. This guy is just going to be half that for steel or electric furnaces to yellow belt. It's going to be 12 per side or 24 total. You can see, boom, full compression all the time. We don't really have anything waiting. There's nothing built up in here. It's perfect. Um, so there's that. For red belt, again, it's just going to be half of this. It's going to be 24 total or 48, or sorry, it's going to be 48 total or 24 per side. Um, for steel or electric furnaces to red belt. And for blue belt, it's going to be, um, the actual math works out to be 35 per side or 70 total for either stone or either electric or steel furnaces to blue belt. I'm sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. There's a lot of levels of stuff to talk about. Um, so for either steel or electric furnaces on a blue belt, it's gonna be 35 per side or 70 total. Um, now, again, I rounded up. I did 36 per side um, to equal 72. Again, for the same reason, because I'm OCD and I wanted um, an extra, extra furnace for um, electric furnaces. It doesn't 
really apply because we're not setting them up quite like these, but uh, you could just do the exact math, it would work out fine. So 35 per side, 70 total. Again, using the underground trick, you can see full compression on this blue belt all the time. Uh, this is just an extra belt, um, but you can see this works great. Uh, this would be your 35 mark here. Um, these are never backed up. They can insert, they're getting resources, it works out perfectly. So there you go. For either stone, iron, or copper, those are your ratios. Um, I will be putting a link in the description uh, to a really nice like Google presentation thing um, someone put together really pretty recently, like a few days or a week ago, that has all this information as, as well as a lot of other helpful information. Um, you can find this information elsewhere, uh, but you know I had to test it myself, obviously, and then present it um, for you guys uh, in case you prefer it in video form. So I will put that link down here if you want to, you know, keep it as reference or or whatever. Um, very very quickly, last thing for steel. I did not build any steel things, uh, full builds because the numbers are just huge. Um, steel takes 17 and a half seconds to to smelt, opposed to the three and a half seconds. Um, so I'm just going to throw these numbers out here for you. It It's pretty insane. Um, for stone furnaces on a yellow belt, to get a fully compressed yellow belt of steel, you're going to need 234 stone furnaces. Um, so per side, that's going to be like, what is that, like 107, 17? 117, I think, per side, um, which is crazy. I mean, this was 48 per side. Uh, you, you can imagine how long that is. And that's for yellow belt. Um, red belt with stone furnaces is 467 total. Blue belt with stone furnaces, um, smelting steel is 700. 350 stone furnaces per side to get a fully compressed blue belt of steel. Um, and then again, steel and electric furnaces are exactly half that. So 117 total steel electric furnaces for a yellow belt smelting steel. Um, 234 for a red belt and 350 for a blue belt. So it's crazy. You can see why I didn't build it. Um, I, I do want to demonstrate really quickly a nice uh, setup you could do. Um, is this. So what we're doing is we're inserting our ore on one side. These guys are smelting it into iron. Um, and then we're dropping it with long hand inserters into the steel smelters. And both of these are getting fueled down the middle with the underground belt. Um, and then they're outputting to the to the other side here, the steel. And the reason this works is because it is actually an uh, exact one-to-one -one ratio um, for iron to steel. Um, steel takes five iron, um, but it takes five times as long to smelt as iron does. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's how we can insert directly here. It works out pretty much perfectly. You can see that like right when he was done, he got his fifth iron. And, uh, and there you go. So this is a nice, pretty compact setup you can do. And uh, I do not take credit for it. I'm not the one who came up with it, um, but it is a very nice setup. I want to demonstrate for you. You could just expand this out, but you can see even with eight steel furnaces making it, this is how much we get. It's, it's like nothing, right? So you can, you can imagine uh, steel is very expensive. You need quite a lot um, to, to get a fully compressed belt. But anyway, there you go, guys. Hopefully you could understand this. I, I apologize if I mix up some words. There was a lot of different levels of stuff to talk about, and uh, and hopefully I only messed up once or twice. But uh, there you go. If you have any questions, comments, uh, suggestions for future videos, or, or I forgot anything, whatever, do leave them down in the comment section. I'd like to hear from you, and uh, and yeah, I, I, I will leave that thing linked in the description again. Um, you can check these ratios. There's a ton of other helpful uh, stuff there, like some train stuff, inserter speed, stuff like that. Um, but there you go. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the other ratio video if you haven't uh, yet. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.